The latest U.S. Census data tells us that the median household income in the city of Cleveland is a little more than $37,000. Government numbers also show 31 percent of the city's population living in poverty. So Cleveland Councilwoman Stephanie House Jones is pushing to bring a universal basic employment pilot program to the city. She says it could be the answer to ending generational poverty. And I spoke to her earlier today about the legislation that she introduced just last night at City Hall. Stephanie House Jones is working to get support to develop a two year pilot program to bring guaranteed jobs with a $50,000 annual wage to Cleveland. What does this enable a family to do in the city of Cleveland? You can pay your bills, you can have stable housing, you have food, you have childcare, you have transportation, you have all the things that will enable you to have a sustainable um, uh, a life here in the city of Cleveland. The universal basic employment legislation she introduced would provide a $600,000 grant to the United Way of Greater Cleveland to launch an initiative that would eventually partner with area businesses and supply those businesses with the funding to cover that $50,000 wage. Hired individuals would forego accepting any public benefits, things like housing vouchers and food assistance. We know that we are spending an enormous amount of money in the public sector for things after the fact, when someone is already hurting. Why could, can we not think about having real investment in people and show a level of dignity for people? House Jones told me this plan would be a starting point in hopes of eventually drawing in state and federal dollars. We think um, once we demonstrate success, we can have some willing partners with the state and the federal government to see this is a different way how we invest public dollars to truly do public good. I asked her about critics, some who point out that such initiatives could drive down wages and doesn't truly address the root causes of poverty. People should not be in a desolate situation to have partnership with their government. The United Way gave News 5 this statement, reading in part that joining forces with the Universal Basic Employment Team and other cross-sector partners will allow us to demonstrate how offering better financial security through meaningful employment impacts the trajectory of a person's income and wealth going forward. John Cottle, visiting Cleveland from D.C., says he once was on Medicare. People don't realize there's a lot you have to do just to get the things you need from your government as a taxpayer. And thinks guaranteed work with a minimum pay makes sense for those able and willing to work. You kind of take away some of those stressors in life and you kind of give yourself space to move ahead in life and think about your future and your children's future. A lot of moving parts here. House Jones says that the mission is to demonstrate that a federal job guarantee policy can eliminate poverty. Her legislation still has to go through the committee process at Cleveland City Hall. And should it pass, she told me that major fundraising would be needed to support the pilot program. We're talking anywhere upwards to $15 million. Stay tuned.